Flying Cloud Solutions was asked by Training Magazine Network to assist with training 2021 in developing their gamified experience. This was done within a week of the conference and we ended up with a standard points, badges and leaderboard that was good. Uh, it did show engagement and it showed us more specifically all the data we needed to really understand how participants were utilizing the conference platform. What I'm gonna to do today is gonna to show, I'm gonna show you what we've done since then to improve upon the gamified experience that was delivered in training 2021 to deliver a new gamified engagement economy for TechLearn 2021. So this is what we're doing. I'm gonna peel back the onion here a little bit and show you what the guts are and how we've developed a new sort of engagement economy for a virtual conference. What we've done is we've used Pathable, which is the platform for delivering this conference and the interactions that are tracked in Pathable and determined ways to extrapolate those interactions and the data that was provided there and allow attendees to actually interact with the points that they earn to buy prizes, gift points, or buy raffle tickets for the higher prize items. Uh, so raffles will be done in a randomized way weighted by the amount of raffle tickets that you have in your possession. So let's show you how all this works. I'm gonna share my screen here. And what we're gonna see is this is the game area within Pathable, within the actual conference. We were able to create an embedded version of this, this interaction, which is actually housed in a separate system. And I'm going to show you how that this works. It's used using a, a service called AppSheet, which uh, was, was, uses a backend Excel or uh, Google spreadsheet to populate the data and allow you to interact. So this is your site where obviously it has the uh, rules of engagement and explaining that what we're trying to do is create what we call tech learning heroes. A tech learning hero is someone who's super engaged, not only in the forums that are that live with the meetings that take place in those chat areas, which the data is well uh, cataloged and we, we extrapolate things such as uh, references that are, are shared uh, into Zotero accounts and other areas. So we make sure that we, we share that information following the event. But the areas that were underutilized in training 2021 were the asynchronous areas, the things that were on the conference platform, such as the discussion areas, the polls, and private meetings and things of that nature, which are other areas where attendees can share their own ideas with am among other attendees and generate the concepts that will make up the next conference. So those are the very important areas that, that usually go underserved at in-person conferences because a lot of those areas, there's knowledge generation, but there's no way to capture it. Here, we're gonna be able to capture that information if we have these tech learning heroes, people who will, are willing to engage in discussions both in those meeting spaces and outside of those meeting spaces or sharing the ideas that they gain from those meeting spaces in their, um, in the polls that we're going to put out. We're just going to do one poll. It's what did you learn from this, this, uh, this meeting that you attended? Now let's, let's peel back the onion. What is this? So when you come in here, you're gaining points for doing interactions on the site. I've auto loaded myself with a thousand points so that you can see kind of what the interactions are. So what I can do on this hero board is I can see my point total. I can see, uh, you know, my company name, how many points I've spent, my balance that's currently there, how many raffle, raffle tickets I own, and any awards I receive, gifts I've given to other people, gifts I've received from other people, and prizes I've obtained. So I've spent those original 100 points on a, an item. So I can purchase items, or I can gift points, or I can purchase items. So I can gift points to another individual by entering my name, and I can gift them to, let's say, Monica Cornetti, and I can say how many points I want to give her. I want to give her 100 points because she is awesome. And I hit save. Done. I've gifted her 100 points. Uh, it will take a moment to refresh. 
But once it's refreshed and synced, you'll see I've spent 200 points now. My point balance is down to 800. And I've given points to Monica. And it has the note and everything. And she sees the same thing on her end. So if I click on hers, she will see, oh, well, that's the detail of that, that interaction. But if I go to her account, I'll see that she now has 100 points and that she's received it from me. Other things you can do are purchase things on the prize store uh, with those points. So if I go to purchase full prizes, I can see all the prizes I can purchase at this event. Note that some of the prizes, like John Chen's wonderful engaging virtual meetings book, are set right now with only 10 available. So the cost is at 200, but that cost will go up by 200 points for each one sold. So if you are, you know, thinking about this purchase early, or your know, supplies are going to be very expensive, but expensive by the final day of this meeting. Um, also, there's information on how to contact John and see his website, uh, so you can see more about what they do with engaging virtual meetings. I uh, so you can see the detail here. You can also purchase it straight from here by hitting add, or you can go to the prize store, enter your name again, and I wanna purchase something. I'm gonna purchase something that I know uh, I'm gonna use engaging virtual and learning event game plan toolkit, which is one of mine. I'm gonna purchase one and I'm gonna hit save. And again, it's not gonna show up right away, but if I refresh the app, you'll see I've now spent 300 points, 700 left, and I now own a color theory for instructional design job aid and a learning event game plan toolkit. Now, where, how do I know how to get that? Well, funny you should ask. The system will email you. See all my lovely things here. So I'm gonna move that over here. It will email you. And so I refresh it. Okay. It will show an email from Training Magazine or TechLearn that says to me and to whoever the, the uh, a sponsor is and yourself. So whoever purchases it. This is the what you purchased, how much you purchased it for, and the redemption instructions. So I can just click the link, download my toolkit, and I'm on my way. So that's that's very simple way, very clean, easy way to interact with the system. All you can do is gift points and purchase items. The other thing you can purchase is raffle price, raffle tickets. Raffle tickets will go into a, a quantity um, right here. So everyone starts with 10. So everyone's eligible for every raffle and they're eligible for these prizes that will be given out throughout the week. So these prizes will be given out through a raffle and you will be noted on your, um, your profile and through an email if you have won any of these prizes. One raffle ticket will be redeemed for a prize that's won. <clears throat> Finally, how do you gain points? Uh, you can gain points through a lot of ways. The awards are listed here. So you can see all the different ways that you can gain points and the point value on the right. That's really it. But I, the great thing about this, this app is you can open it up in a new window and or on your phone, mobile device, or other element. Uh, so look, it looks really good in mobile. I'm gonna pull it down, pull it down further. Seriously, there we go. And slide it down. So you can see what it looks sort of like in a mobile device. It is really sharp. Um, very clean, gift points, you can prize store, see the awards, see the purchasable prizes, you can click on those and read more about them. Same with the raffle prizes. Click on it, read more about it. So that's the game in a nutshell. How is this built though? I know a lot of you are asking this because uh, this is this is really clean. It took a lot of work to get to this point. And there's automation features in the back end that creates a uh, that that automate all of the communications following a prize interaction. Because as you can imagine, with hundreds of attendees, this becomes a little bit of a bear to sort of manage. So I've boiled down the management to just taking some of the data from 
the conference site, which I wish we had an API for, and just plug it in and then run the raffles every so often. So it's really just this ex export a spreadsheet, plop it into the other spreadsheet and go. And I'll show you what that spreadsheet looks like. Um, so the spreadsheet really looks like this. Very simple. Here's the participants that are engaged currently. Game hasn't started yet, so there's not much data here to go with. So this is just data from, from a previous conference. So you can see that it tracks a lot of the information here that relate to what a participant can gain onto their profile. Then there's the raffle prizes and what their information is, the prizes for purchase, the awards, actions that take place. So I gifted myself a thousand points to show how this goes, but any actions that take place in the system, this is what's gonna populate most of the, your, your point data. Purchase actions, anything that I purchase, you see that I just did these, this action here of purchasing a learning event toolkit, and it shows how many current available points I had at the time, how much it cost, the quantity that's left, and, or the quantity at the time of that item, and so on. Uh, raffle action, so if I, whoever wins a raffle, and then gift action, so I gifted Monica, this amount of points. So it is a, it is a basic uh, database of sorts um, using Excel, or in this case, Google Sheets to populate the app on the back end. So what does App Sheet look like on that side? So App Sheet is an intelligent, no code platform. It is almost no code. There is some formulas that you need to know. Uh, you have to learn some of those, but they're very easy and they're very similar to what you can do typically in Excel or another spreadsheet. So it, it makes a lot of sense if you are familiar with functions in Excel. So here we have Tech Learns app. Um, you'll see that there's a home page. There's info about the app, so you can see kind of how people move and where the views end up. Uh, this is a neat little graph view. You can do it as a linear view. I like this. This is kind of fun. Um, so you can see everything kind of pulls out from that participant area. So you can see everything from that spot. There's the data. So these are those different spreadsheets that I, I showed, the sheets within the workbook. Um, each sheet, say the, no, I don't want to do the participant, that's really big. Uh, let's say the raffle prizes. You can go in and view the columns and the columns are set up to do different functions based on what you tell it to do and what, what you can show them, not show them to the participant, whatever you, you feel like. You can always view your changes to this app um, in real time on the app on the side here. So I can see it on tablet or I can see it in a mobile view. Uh, then there's the user experience. So this is where you customize the look and feel of the app behaviors that take place. I don't really have any that, that too many behaviors that this does as far as workflow and reports. Um, a lot of that, those behaviors, I'm going to be working with the data itself once the conference is over. And then automation. So the automation here, here is a, it's a bot that when uh, a prize is awarded, it will notify the correct individuals that that prize is awarded and the next actions to take place. Um, so that that is that is a really simple system to to build, but it takes it does take a long time with uh, something of this robust of a of a of a game. All right, and no gamified experience would be complete without adding another level of engagement, which is communicating the fact that there is a game and that you are engaged in this game. So we've created a bunch of Zoom backgrounds to really show off that you are a true tech learning hero and engaged in this gamified experience and hopefully pull others into this gamified engaged experience as well. Uh, so within the prize store uh, and the principal prizes, you'll see that there is a tech learn 2021 hero, uh, tech learning hero package of different Zoom backgrounds that can be downloaded. There's the standard Zoom background for attendees of the conference, but then there's these other ones that, that we've created for the game specifically. Um, I want to go through them now so you can see what they look like. And I'll stop share. And we're going to see we have a blue background. I'm fully engaged. We have a yellow 
and red. Tech learning hero, bright, catches attention. We have a black and white one. And then because it is Halloween and we have a keynote from The Walking Dead, we have I Slay Training Zombies. So these are ways to stay involved and engaged. And I hope that you come to Tech Learn 2021. And if not, I hope that this was a great um, uncovering of all the challenges that we've faced and how we overcame them in designing a very unique solution to this conference experience. Blind Cloud Solutions is available for cons consultation on other solutions uh, that will meet your specific needs. Uh, we love challenges and we design innovation. Thank you for listening.